Slytherins get a pretty bad reputation and after a while it can certainly be very trying and make you feel like putting a hex on everyone within a 5 km radius. Not all Slytherins are bad however. Sure, there are dark wizards in Slytherins midst but it's not like they're being recruited to the dark side. It's not like Slytherins have a choice in which house they're sorted into. Not everyone can be like Harry Potter. Without further ado, here are 10 struggles all Slytherins know to be true. When the sorting hat knows where you belong before it even touches your head and everyone judges you and thinks that you're a wannabe death eater. It's not like every Slytherin is destined for the dark side, jeez. When you're the rightful winner but teachers have favourites. It's so not fair when a certain teacher, <coughs> Dumbledore, just hands out points at the last minute to his favourite house. Talk about playing favourites. When you're just too resourceful and cunning for your own good and you end up getting in trouble when you're just damn resourceful. It's unfair really. When your peers bore the hell out of you and just because you're way more ambitious than they are. When everyone thinks Gryffindors are the most brave but really you know the truth. When everyone thinks all dark wizards came from Slytherin and they totally forget that Pettigrew was a Gryffindor and that Quirrell was a Ravenclaw. Yes, some of it is valid. Salazar Slytherin was a pure blood supremacist and one of the most popular alums is a dark wizard with a reputation so bad that wizards were scared to even speak his name. Okay, okay, we get it. But not all Slytherins are bad. Slytherins are just passionate, intense and a little bit too competitive sometimes, especially when it comes to Quidditch. After all, somebody's got to be the head honcho, right? And Slytherins are up for that job. When you try out for Quidditch and the only people who make the team are the people whose parents played for the house back in the day, or parents who totally bribe the team by buying them new Nimbus 2001s. When Dementors take over the grounds and you have to protect yourself and you are forced to discover that your Patronus is not some deadly vicious animal that would totally up your street cred but instead it's a furry animal like a bunny or a kitten. Hopefully no one noticed for your sake. When you realise that your competitive instincts make people think you're a horrible person. There's nothing wrong with being competitive. It just builds character, right? When the Battle of Hogwarts happens and all of the Slytherins are sent to the dungeons because you can't be trusted and all of your friend's parents are fighting on the dark side with Voldemort. When you first go into the dungeon to find your common room and the giant squid from the lake pops up and scares the absolute squib out of you. It's a tough life being a Slytherin, but totally worth it and massively underrated. Being underrated is what makes Slytherins so awesome in the first place.